Welcome all of you to the 56th live program on orthopedic principles. We are back with Dr. Vijay Shetty from Hiranandani Hospital, Mumbai. Today is going to talk about something very interesting and that is about the Shetty test that he described. Uh, over to you, Vijay. Thank you, Hitesh. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, this is slightly off the uh, shelf. Uh, nothing to do with what we do on a daily basis. Um, I just thought I would share this uh, important uh, information uh, with you all, especially those uh, who are in uh, practice. Um, uh, this might be very, very uh, useful uh, uh, in a, in a on a daily basis. So that is me. Uh, I, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. Um, made the bulk of my practice involves hip and knee surgery and sports medicine. I work uh, at the Hiranandani Hospital in Powai, Mumbai. Uh, now, um, I am actually going to talk to you about a test that we developed in my practice. And I found that a test very, very useful in ankle injuries. Please remember what I'm saying here is ankle injuries not just ankle sprain. I'm talking about ankle injuries in general, okay? Uh, so uh, we all know that ankle injuries are uh, very, very common sporting injuries. And in fact, 30% of all sporting injuries amount to ankle injuries. So three out of 10 uh, of the sporting injuries that you see uh, on a daily basis uh, are, uh, they all belong to ankle injuries uh, uh, categories. So if you just look at this, uh, uh, this video, I mean, this is for, I, I made this presentation for a TED talk a few months ago. You see this person has fallen and uh, they come and show you the uh, video and let's just, it's only seven seconds. Just see what happens and uh, uh, see the way he is landing. Yes, see the right foot. See the right foot, it has gone into external rotation and uh, pronation. Uh, so this guy now comes to your clinic. So you have to now decide whether this person actually needs a next ray or not. This is all about making a decision on taking an X-ray in the OPD setting. And this is the test about. Now let's go back again. If you really look at the very interesting statistics here, the global incidence of ankle injuries. Remember, I'm talking about ankle injuries, not just the sprain. I maintain this again and again. The overall ankle injuries, it's about 50 per 10,000 population. So 50 ankle injuries, injuries for 10,000 uh, people, which for us, it will be, we have about 1.34 billion people. So roughly in a year, we are going to have about 70 lakh patients with ankle injuries, 70 lakh, 70 lakhs of ankle injuries uh, we produce every year in our country. This is India. So when somebody like that comes to you with an ankle injury, ankle injury, what usually happens is we as orthopedic surgeons or, or physicians push the patient, rush him to him or her for x-rays. The question is, do we really have to do the x-rays? That is the main thing, okay? So the traditional approach, you just close your eyes. You say somebody comes with a swelling and is limping. You just say, okay, go down, do the x-ray and come back. That is the uh, traditional approach. But what I'm trying to say here is stop, you just think for a minute. Do you really have to take an X-ray of this patient? Why I say this is, you will go back again to the literature, about 15% of all ankle injuries end up with fractures, whereas 85%, there's a reference, if you need it, I will send it to you later, 85%, that means 85% of those ankle injury patients may not need x-rays. What this means is about only 15% of them end up with some bony injury who may require 
uh, an X-ray examination. And 85% of them may not need X-rays, but we still end up doing X-rays. So what that means in our population, I said to you that about 70 lakh people get uh, uh, ankle injuries in our country. 85% of 70 lakhs is about 50 lakh people. Look at this figure. 50 lakhs of them may not need x-rays, but we are doing x-rays on every patient uh, who comes in. What are the repercussions? Look at this one. X-rays. What's bad about x-rays? For a start, it is radiation exposure. You know, you see ankle injuries, especially in very, very young people, and radiation exposure. You're just sending them without even discussing about what's going to happen. What is the theoretical risk of radiation? 0.6 M serve per exposure. So what is the limit? If the X-ray exposure goes beyond 1000 milliserve, it can cause cancer, okay? So I know that this is a very small amount of radiation, but if you can avoid it, nothing like it, right? The second thing is, it is a very, very inconvenient thing. The patient comes to you limping and you just examine a little bit. Then you say, go down in my hospital, at least when it, it's a, the X-ray department is in the, in the basement. So they go down on a good day. It will take at least 45 minutes. It usually takes much, much longer than that. So it will take at least 45 minutes. Then the patient comes back to you again with the X-ray. You will spend another 15 minutes on that patient discussing the X-ray and further course of action. So it is time consuming. So how can we avoid X-rays? In the 85% of the ankle injury population that we are talking about, right? Now, it is a very, very common thing. Common sense prevails here. Now, I am asking this. I asked this question during my TED talk. It was a, it was a school, um, young, young people, teenagers were there. Then I just asked them, will, will anybody be able to walk on a fractured ankle? This is the logic behind developing this test. So, Look at this example. This is for demo purpose only. See, this patient comes to your clinic on a wheelchair. He oh. comes there, oh. right? He stands up. Oh. See this? He's limping, but he's put his fresh foot on the okay. ground. What I do as a clinician, I don't ask him to do anything. I, it's just that the patient, you know, I am not manipulating. The patient is asked to rest the foot. It's a very simple logic. Put on your hand. You're not even moving because you don't even know whether there's a fracture or not. You might hurt the patient. You're asking if he or she has a fracture, they will never press on your hand. If there is an injury, you know, if it's a soft tissue injury, they will still put pressure because this is, uh, it is not putting any, pressure on the uh, bones. Now look at this scenario two. This person comes in, right? You don't need to be a doctor here. So he comes in and see he's on a wheelchair again. See the way he comes in, see the foot up and... Okay, so he comes there. He doesn't put pressure at all on this leg. So this, this is not rocket science. So... Now the physician goes there, okay. he is asking right. you to press, press the foot, uh, right. Now on a separate note, you can do it first on the heel and then on the forefoot so that you cover the entire foot and ankle and, and ask them to put pressure on this one. So if that patient, you see on the background, there is a picture of this Shetty test. You see if the patient says, ouch, it's painful, then a fracture is very likely and I send him for x-rays, okay? Then I will do the x-rays. Now, this is a real patient. Look at him. Now, this person came to me for a second opinion. This is very interesting because I saw, he, he, he came to me, I think 48 hours after this injury, and you see uh, an actual patient, and we have taken informed consent from the patient to show this uh, picture in this uh, lecture. You see the ankle swollen, right? or for a naked eye, it looks like there is some serious damage, obviously. But see, I'm asking him to do this test. He's pushing it very hard. 
then he shows me his yeah he is pushing very hard and see so i would not have asked for an x ray but he came with an x ray because a, a doctor elsewhere who has seen him has done the x ray you see the x ray is normal right this is a very very important uh, information for us so what i did i thought it was you know it may be sounding very simple to you but look at the implications in a minute i'll tell you what this means to all of us now i looked at i i i, I developed a project with my fellows we looked at 50 consecutive patients who were with isolated only ankle injuries only ankle injuries 50 patients and single examiner and i did x ray examination as routine in all 50 patients okay then we did the test results against x ray results so these people have come and i have not seen the x ray now what i have done with uh, this out of which 43 patients did not elicit pain so the shetty test was positive where which means that there is no fracture by what you of the test and all those 43 did not show any fracture any bone injury and this is a superb conclusion with this so my test 43 people uh, were positive there was no bone injury suspected bone injury and the x rays also did not show any injury seven patients had pain only three of them had fractures only three of them had bone injuries so even then i think it is very 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 important information so so we just did a statistical evaluation and one of the very very clever uh, uh, statistician from tata institute of social science uh, in uh, mumbai chembur helped me to do this you see this negative predictive value of our test was 100% which means if i say that it's very unlikely there is a fracture it is unlikely there is a fracture even in the x rays so and the the beauty of this is this can be even done by a most junior most doctor in the hospital i mean if you teach it to nursing staff even they can also do and if your clinic is very busy you can ask one of them if somebody comes with an ankle ankle injury just tell them to do the test if necessary send them for an x ray and then so that you don't waste your time and that that can be done all you need for this test is nothing extraordinary just a good hand to demonstrate this test it's it's a it's a crazy thing now if you really look at the financial implications of this test look at this 30% of all sporting injuries are ankle injuries 85% of them are actual sprains not bone injuries 55 i told you there about of 10000 of global population is the incidence at the moment the global population this morning i just googled it 7.8 billion which means 39 million can only get ankle injuries okay now what that means see in our hospital uh, uh, so uh, so so the 15% of 7.8 billion is 39 million patients and uh, only they can get ankle injuries and only they need x rays now if you are looking at a cost thing globally in a year you can save about over 1000 crores of rupees you imagine this one and then let's go to the india scenario you have i mentioned according to the population we have 1.34 billion population of which and we are, we are talking about uh, 70 lakhs of uh, those patients uh, can get ankle injuries in india globally 70 lakhs of them and ankle injuries and in fact about 50 lakhs of them are only sprains so if you can save those 50 lakhs of x rays what will happen now on a, for a for a general rule i mean some places uh, cost more but in my hospital an x ray of the ankle ap and lateral uh, costs roughly around 40 450 but just for calculation i mentioned here okay let's imagine 300 rupees per x ray so of those 70 lakhs 50 lakhs uh, will not need x ray so if you don't do the x ray and per 300 Uh, 300 rupees per patient and 50 lakhs it's 150 crores so you can actually save 150 crores i have sent these details to the government as well if you really stick to this test so what is the uh, uh, advantage ankle injuries 
the with the traditional approach you have radiation risk you are spending a lot of time there's plenty of money that you're wasting there's a lot of inconvenience with this test there is no risk of radiation at all there is no time spent on the patient extra there is no cost it's zero and it's a lot more convenient so i did this uh, um, i published this uh, paper uh, um, way back in uh, 2013 uh, now, now it's uh, five years i slept over it for a long time and then i thought i was practicing and doing it then i realized that there was an email last year from spain to me saying that they are now trying to do a validation of my test this is one of the major trauma centers in spain you see there is uh, this thing in english and in in spanish and this was in 2019 and uh, what they've done they validated the test and see the conclusion and the shetty test is valid clinical screening tool to decide whether simple radiography is indicated for foot and ankle injuries it's a simple quick and reproducible test and they have taken it on board in a major trauma center in spain so that is the time when i thought okay let me go back and then try and uh, spread this uh, message with everybody and just yesterday this was day before yesterday i put this up in uh, facebook because i was too excited because i got an email from these people as well and on the 27th of may this was published just 3 4 days back and this is from emergency medicine australia australia asia this is a very uh, good uh, journal and they have done the validation this is validation to worldwide global and they have compared can you believe this to ottawa ankle and foot rule you may be aware of this one which was supposed to help physician to avoid x rays in ankle injuries so they compared that to my test to this one and they concluded that shetty test may safely reduce unneeded radi radiographs in emergency department they have not mentioned about the financial implication but yes quite rightly for the research is warranted i think with hitesh gopal and maybe we can we can collaborate and do this and and save lots of money to, uh, in in our country and there comes that is the birth of shetty test for you thank you very much for your attention thank you uh, thank you vijay uh, thank you for that uh, brilliant test that you described uh, very happy to see that a uh, lot of people have researched it again and i just looked into the paper from australia and uh, like you, what you said they have shown high sensitivity and like you said negative a strong pre negative predictive value because i think that is more important isn't it a negative predictive That's right yeah yes yeah because you you are looking at eliminating x rays yes so you want the negatives so you can imagine if it's a rural area people with ankle injuries uh, they run into um, uh, urban areas a hospital uh, for attention uh, to check and all that i think if it's something that is a simple ankle injury they can actually wait for some time uh, so implications are huge and this can be done in any primary healthcare center so i think um, i just want thank you uh, hitesh and when you asked me whether i could do that this lecture this is very important for me because i think um, the, <clears throat> socially speaking this can save time and hazards of radiation and of course um, if you really do the calculation it's over 150 crores i think i think uh, um uh, the government if they listen to this one uh, maybe it's quite a quite an idea to um adopt uh, in rural areas as well yeah especially in very high level trauma centers where you don't want to waste a lot of time for taking uh, x rays for small minor injuries isn't it yes that's where the difference is going to be yeah but your hospital will they be happy because you're not taking x rays well it doesn't matter to me <laughs> but, <laughs> but i mean said that i mean having said that our own ceo uh, actually asked me to present this in in one of the gp meetings you know he was very happy when i yeah. told him that the the, the test is uh, has been validated in spain so that is when i i informed him um, but unfortunately you know i have even written this to uh, my government um but uh, i have not no reply yet i think uh, this 
you know, in, in yeah, many it's just catching I mean, up. Vijay is just catching up, and I'm sure because two very important people have cited, and I'm sure the citations are going to increase, and over a period of time, and yeah. since compared it with the October rules, I think that's the edge yeah. we have over the other tests. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. I'm sure it's going to be adopted well by everyone. Yeah. Uh, okay. Want to comment? Thank you. Want to say something? No, I'm done. I'm... Okay. There's thank another... you once again for Roger. being with us. Uh, for yeah. introducing you. Thank you. All the best and a great job. Thank you very much. Yeah. Looking forward for more.